Hi everyone, before we begin, I would like to emphasize that this video is separate from my work and is part of my desire and effort to bring zero cost information to developers. Today we are going to create a Bazel workspace from scratch to build a C++ program. So let's assume we already have a C++ source file. What we need now is a build file. A build file is for Bazel where we describe uh, our build rules. So what we want to do is basically to take this main.cc file and turn it into a binary. So for that, we'll create this build file. We'll add a CC binary rule with the name main, and we add the path of the source file. So this name is called the target name for this rule. It should be unique within this build file. So now we also need a workspace. A workspace uh, can be empty, but it's to tell Bazel where is the root of our uh, Bazel workspace. So we put it, of course, at the root. So now with these three files, we have basically the minimum required to build uh, this binary. So we'll go ahead and write bazel build dot dot dot, which will build basically everything under the root. So as you can see, bazel uh, is doing different things now. Um, it's basically um, fetching all its own dependencies, so you don't need to pre-install anything for it to run, only bazel uh, binary. Then it discover our main target that we created before. So this is correspond to this main name here that we provided here. And it also created um, the executable, so which is the output of a CC binary rule. And as you see here also, it created a bunch of directories, which are basically sim links to the build tree that uh, Bazel rule, uh, Bazel uh, used by, behind the scenes. And if we look within this Bazel build, we can find our main executable here. So it's garbage here on my editor because it's a binary. Uh, with Bazel, we can also run um, this executable. So we just do Bazel run and we give it the name of the target, so main. So Bazel run main. And here we go, hello world. So one good thing also with Bazel is that it caches all the, the build artifacts to so the build actions. So we can, for example, change uh, something here and it will recompile only this file. Let's see. So we call Bazel run main and see, we just saw that it was compiling something. It compiled the file and it runs the output, um, the generated uh, output, so the generated executable. So now what's also interesting would be to see what actually Bazel does behind the scene, because it's only one command and it's a bit hard to know uh, what it actually does. So for that, we can, we can so let's first clear the cache uh, of Bazel to make sure that it will um, rebuild our action. And then we can call Bazel build with the minus S, minus S for minus, minus subcommands. So to see which subcommands Bazel is actually invoking. Let's do that. And as we can see, it's actually run two subcommands, one here, one here. So the first one is an action, a compilation action. Uh, it uses my local GCC, as you see here, um, onto my uh, main.cc file that we created before. And it will, will create an object file that you see here that will be named main.peak.o. So the second uh, linking action is a linking action. And it uses also the local GCC with the parameter file that we can find here. And it basically, yeah, create an output. So which is the name, the pass actually of our executable. And it gives it as argument our um, object file that we just created before and some other linker options. So now one other thing we can do with Bazel is to change the compilation option directly on the command line. So we will try to uh, compile the actual program with minus O0, so without uh, optimization. For that, we'll use minus minus C opt. Let's go ahead. Let's build the main target with minus minus C opt. And let's see what actually the subcommand uh, is. So as you see here, we have minus zero or zero that has been added to the command line. 
So now we basically know how to create a simple program uh, with Bazel. But uh, this is just to create one file. What if we want to have multiple um, libraries here that we want to share with different programs? So let's go ahead and try to create a, a library. We'll first create a header file uh, with a simple library that uh, just outputs a name, which is a constant string from a function called getName. So we'll just output uh, the string Bazel, and we'll update the build file to uh, tell Bazel that we want to create a library out of those two files. So let's use CC, li CC library with the name mylib. So this is the target name. We give it the path of the header file and the path of the source file. So now Bazel knows uh, how to compile our library. And now we just need to, when we want to use this library, you know, let's try to use it in our CC binary, in our binary. And we just need to give it as a dependency. So let's go ahead. Um, let's add the depth uh, mylib. And you see those two dot dot here is to refer to a local um, target name that is within this build file. And now we can directly use it here. So let's include our header file, mylib.h, and we can directly use the function that we created before, get name, which is in the, within the same namespace, so there's nothing else to do. And that's it. That should uh, write actually hello Bazel. So let's try. Bazel run main. All right, here we go. Hello Bazel. So that's it. We saw how to compile a single program, how to compile a library. I hope you enjoy. And if you like it, please subscribe.